In this video, I'm going to give you another engineer task, and that's how to emplace an abatis. Uh, I know by spelling, people get confused and count, uh, call it an abatis. It's abatis is the correct pronunciation. This is a uh, log obstacle for blocking roadways. It can stop tanks. Now... I'll read you some information here from uh, my squad leader's book because this will give you some of this detail better than uh, I can explain it. Must be at least 75 meters in depth. So from front to back it must be at minimum 75 meters. Each tree must have a minimum diameter of 24 inches or 60 centimeters. Charges are placed at a 45 degree angle towards the enemy and five feet off the ground. Trees should fall at a 45 degree angle towards the enemy with trees still attached to the stump. Now the uh, calculation for determining how much explosives you need is D squared over 50 equals pounds of TNT. D is diameter of the tree, so average. So we go through here. We find that uh, we have, say, 20 trees that are around 24 inches in diameter. Some of them are 28, some of them are 30, but they're close to uh, 20, 24 inches in diameter. So we got to account for how much poundage of TNT for those 20 trees and then say we got another 10 trees that are even thicker they're about 36 inches in diameter so then we got to account for the TNT or explosive for those 10 trees also so for the uh, 24 inch ones we would take 24 24 squared divided by 50 and that'll give us our pounds of TNT. This is one that's mentioned here in the squad leader book. It comes out to roughly 11 and a half pounds of TNT per tree. And then you would round that up to 12 pounds. So then you would take your 12 pounds times it by 20 because you have 20 trees. So you would get 240 pounds of TNT just for those and then you would take your uh, 36 inch trees you had 10 of them take 36 times 36 divide it by 50 you'll get your pounds per tree and then you got to take that times 10 because there's 10 trees and then you take that total amount you add it on to the 240 from the 20 from the uh, 24 inch trees and that gives you the total amount of explosives you're going to need Now, what will uh, happen on this, we'll just use the same diagram here. Now we'll say that our uh, roadway here is now the uh, tree trunk. So approximately five foot up the side of the tree, we will put our explosive charge. This is an external charge. It goes on the outside of the tree. That will then get tied or taped to the tree. It gets primed. It gets tied into our uh, line main or ring main. Now this charge, when it goes off, it's not going to shear the tree off. It, you don't want to cut it completely. You only want to cut into the side a bit. So our charge would uh, go off and it take off, say about that much of the tree. Well, the weight of the tree then should cause it to bend, to uh, fall, but still stay attached to the trunk. You still want it attached to the stump. If you get some that do detach from the stump, you're going to want to tie them together. You're going to want to tie that uh, log to the stump 
using chains or wire rope. Or barring that, if you don't have enough of that, just start wrapping the hell out of it with uh, barbed wire holding it together. Now what you'll do when you set your charges off, you'll set off all the charges on one side of the road first so then they'll come in and they'll fall roughly like this across the roadway. Then you set off the charges on the other side. They fall down like that. So then you'll have trees crossing like this going down the roadway. You want the trees to fall in the direction of enemy movement. So if the enemy's coming from this direction, we want the trees to fall down like that. So that as the enemy would try to ram the obstacle, if they're that stupid, it's just going to push the trees together, making an even worse mess. Now you can thicken this up if you don't have enough trees enough branches laying across the roadway in your opinion you got uh, some uh, light areas that they could chop through easily you can string concertina wire in there just get it real tangled up in the branches you can string barbed wire through there you can put uh, mines in there anti-tank mines or even anti-personnel mines <coughs> you want to slow the enemy as long as possible you're trying to slow them from getting through that so that you can get your direct fires, your indirect fires onto them. You want them to take the maximum amount of time that you can possibly get out of them to try to breach that obstacle. Now typically what you do if you come across an abatis, if you're the one that uh, comes across it, the enemy put it in front of you, you backtrack, you try to find a bypass around it, another road off of this one that goes around it. Well, if you're the one that put in the abatis, you want to take that into account if there's any roads traveling alongside that the enemy could use, and you'll want to put some type of obstacle on those roads also. Not necessarily another abatis, maybe you'll uh, bury some anti-tank mines inside the roadway. Or maybe put in an 11 row or a road crater. But uh, how you breach an abatis, you come in with uh, chainsaws and axes. And you start cutting your way through the trees. When you come across concertina wire, barbed wire, that's when you pull out your wire cutters. If you come across uh, chains or the wire rope holding the uh, trees to the stumps, that's when you pull out your bolt cutters or your hacksaw or use explosives to cut the chains cut the ropes but uh, you're trying to make a uh, huge mess out of it see if I can get a uh, picture or get this picture close enough to the camera here that you can see to get a good idea I can't get it to focus that great but uh, as you see here how the trees are supposed to cross it goes all the way across the roadway. You want it at least 75 meters deep. Now if you do got uh, some easy bypass for infantry on the sides between your trees and your next trees next to it, cover that area with anti-personnel mines. Tripwire anti-personnel mines would probably be preferable. So you're bounding fragmentation or stake mines. This can be a very time consuming obstacle to put in. I have not done it. I have not trained to do it because the training for it, when you think about it, it's really intense and there's not too many areas around the world that you're just going to find a section of roadway you can go through and start chopping trees on to uh, practice this with. But uh, in my squad leader book here, it mentions that the estimated time for putting in 75 meters worth of abatis is around two hours per squad if this is a squad level mission if it's platoon level you might be able to get it cut down to maybe an hour 
hour and a half but uh, it depends on how quick you are on getting everything figured out calculating your uh, explosives getting your packs together getting them on the trees blowing them and then if you got to uh, reinforce the obstacle that's going to add more time on there uh, I'll make a note here this is for pounds of TNT this calculation if you have another type of explosives you have to calculate for the RE factor the relative equivalency so TNT has an RE factor of one and every other type of explosive is either more powerful or less powerful if it's more powerful you'll require less pounds of explosives if it's less powerful like your ammonium nitrate you'll need more explosives in poundage compared to TNT that is something you will have to learn to do yourself by looking it up in uh, FM 5-34 if you haven't figured it out right now, that is a manual that you should have, especially if you're going to be a uh, militia engineer. Now for all my engineer brothers in the Patriot and Militia movements, always remember, essay ons.